Well, how do bikes work? Well... After laying out a rag, your first step is to disassemble. Peyton is using a cone wrench to take off the pedal and a big flat wrench to take off the rest of the parts that make up the bottom bracket. The next step would be to use a rag and simple green degreaser to clean the cup and the bike parts to remove any dirt or old grease. Once you have inspected for any cracks and dents, apply a generous amount of new grease on the edges of the cup. Now you can reassemble the parts back together. Torque is the ability for a force to rotate an object about an axis. Peyton, in the disassembly step of our overhaul, uses torque to loosen the lock nut. He increases the torque on the wrench by doing two things, getting a longer wrench and applying force closer to the end of the wrench. An object will stay in its state of motion or rest until an unbalanced force acts upon it. Here you can see that the bike wheels start to move when it is pushed down. When riding a bike, the force from pushing down on the pedals causes the bike wheels to move. Friction occurs whenever two objects or surfaces come in contact with each other, and it causes resistance. When bike wheels roll on the floor, there's resistance between two objects, the floor and the tire. So the wheel slows down and comes to a stop. The cool thing about bike works is we want to make sure that everybody in the community has a bike to ride. You can get out on your own pedal power and it costs you a little bit of nothing. Not to mention the waste you're not even creating by riding a bike. With programs like we're doing here at Cleveland High School, we get to fix up these bikes and donate them right back to the community from which they came from. So we enjoy having the students work on these bikes and we enjoy putting smiles on a few kids' faces in the near future. You get the homework now? Yeah, I think I get it. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for the help, bro. Go round, 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 round.